Here with me is Mr. Andy Chen, who is CEO of Preview Networks. Uh, Mr. Chen, what are your impressions uh, with Webit so far? Uh, I think this is uh, very interesting. It's my first time in Bulgaria, and I think it's great that there are these international conferences now uh, in you know, Central and Eastern European markets, uh, because clearly these are the growth markets compared to the Western markets. So, so far it's been very good. Conferences are well organized. Uh, everything has been very good. How do you think the TV will evolve in the aspect of the digital revolution? Um, I think what's going to happen to TV is that it's going to become a different form of uh, aggregation and syndication and clearly with a different type of uh, interaction. Um, so I think uh, in the future TV is going to be, what we consider TV is clearly not going to be what we know TV as in the past, um, but it's going to be a combination of uh, web uh, interaction as well as uh, the different ways that the web has actually aggregated and syndicated and distributed content. Uh, which you think are the most important uh, present and emerging trends in the web presence of the television? Um, I think the social aspect is definitely uh, one of the hottest areas that uh, everyone is looking at because the social is related to interaction. Um, so again, it's talking about the social TV, the interactive TV. And I think when the platform actually becomes pure digital, you're going to see again, like I mentioned before, a different way of syndicating and uh, distributing content and aggregating content. And how did the economic downturn change the digital market? I think the downturn has been a good thing for digital marketing. Uh, digital marketing, of course, is uh, much more accountable and uh, you know, accountable for performance. Uh, is much more measurable uh, than, let's say, traditional medium. And uh, and I think what the the crisis has actually forced people to think about is how how are they going to spend the marketing budget in a more accountable and measurable way. So I think in a way it's pushed the the, the industry forward. Uh, in ways that we didn't anticipate. How do you think digital advertising will evolve? What is the future of, of digital advertising? Uh, the future of digital advertising, I think uh, no, one, no one actually knows. I think we can't really predict the, the impact of uh, some of the technologies and many of the technologies that we haven't even seen. Um, so I think, what, you know, in a very general term, um, you know, advertising in the future is going to be much, much more interactive and uh, much more technology focused. So, in my opinion, I don't think there's going to be any difference uh, between software and marketing. I think marketing is going to be a piece of software. And do you think that the iPad will make a revolution in new media? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Do you think that the iPad will make a revolution in new media? Um, I think the iPad has already made the revolution, but I think the revolution is more in the traditional media than the new media. Um, if you look at the impact that it's had on print, newspapers, uh, magazines. Um, so I think uh, it is a revolutionary uh, device, but I think it's, it's perhaps had more impact on the traditional print uh, than the, say, purely more on the digital uh, internet side. And my last question is, what are your expectations for the development of the targeting in the digital advertising? Targeting will get more precise. Uh, I think ideally, and it's not, you know, we're not too far from, uh, from the reality. I think it's perhaps within five to eight years. Um, you will be able to eliminate all the irrelevant ads. All ads should be contextually and behaviorally relevant. Um, so I think targeting will become exactly, you know, as it should be, targeting. You know, meaning no waste, just precise targeting. Thank you very much.